Hello everyone, so today is going to be another pick monkey tutorial. I'm sorry I'm a little sick and my voice is kind of like weird, but I did want to get this video out for you. So this is going to be how to create textured or patterned text for your video thumbnails or pretty much whatever you want to use it for. So if you aren't familiar with PicMonkey, PicMonkey is like a website that is very similar to like a Photoshop. Um, but of course it's free and it's spelled P-I-C-M-O-N-K-E-Y. This is what you're going to get when you go to www.pickmonkey.com. What you want to do is you want to click on or hover over design and then go to custom size. I just choose whatever its default is and click make it. And you want to make sure that the background is white, which is what it's going to default to. So you want to click apply here. Then you want to go to the text tool. Now, if you are using Chrome um, and you have fonts downloaded from websites such as Defont.com, if you aren't sure how to do that, you can go ahead and search Defont, um, how to do download Defont fonts. Um, I believe I have a video up on that, but if not, I'm sure plenty of people have it up. Um, but if you do have fonts downloaded, you can go to yours and click from one of those. But if not, don't worry. Um, PicMonkey does have some built in here. Just know that the ones with the crown means that's a premium feature. So if you do have stuff downloaded, which I do, you're going to go to yours and it's going to load all of your fonts. If you guys don't have fonts downloaded, I definitely recommend you guys to check it out because it will change just everything for you. So I'm going to choose um, this one called Black Fat, <laughs> and I'm going to add my text. So textured. Or you could put patterned, probably. Patterned is what I'm going to use, actually. I'm actually going to use this for the thumbnail of this video, so you want to make sure that it is black. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and click on this button here, which is to combine all layers. So if you click on that, you're going to see this. You want to click on this, flatten image. It'll say combined when you did it right. Then what you want to do is you want to go to this butterfly tool, which is your overlays, and you want to open up a pattern that you want to use. If you haven't found a pattern, I definitely recommend going on Pinterest. There's a lot of really good ones. I found this one that I want to use. Um, I believe it's like a Nike background or someone else might have used, you know, made it or whatever. I don't know. Um, but you want to put it over top of your text. And then over here where it says overlay, you want to click onto blend modes and click lighten and this is what it's going to be so if you move this around you can move to different parts of the pattern you can make it bigger if you want you can do whatever you would like to do so once you've done that what you want to do is you want to save it so I'm going to click on save and you can save this as whatever you want to save it as so save to my computer and just make sure you know where it's going to. So the next step is to go into your finder and go to desktop and find that text. I'm going to double click on it. I'm using a Macintosh computer, um, but what this tool allows you to do is it allows you to get rid of this white background so that your text will just be, you know, the text. So first what I'd like to do is go here to the toolbox and click this tool here. I'm going to select my text and then click return on my keyboard. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to click crop. Okay, here we go. Click crop just so it's your text. Then back to the key, uh, to the toolbox. You want to click on this tool here, which is like a magic wand. Click and drag until the background is selected. Now, don't worry about these little parts in between. We can always fix those later. We're going to click and drag and then you click delete on your keyboard. This will pop up. You want to click convert. Then you can see kind of all the little spots that weren't picked up. So go ahead and do the same thing. Click and drag in those areas and click delete. Once you've done it once, it doesn't, you know, keep asking you about deleting things. So make sure you get all the little spots here. And just make sure that 
for your text, it isn't, you know, or the pattern in your text isn't white or the step will not work. So then what you want to do is just save it. Oops, sorry. Um, and you just got to file, save up at the top. All right. So now if you were to use it on your um, thumbnail, you would just design your thumbnail like this. 1280 by 720 is the design for a thumbnail or those dimensions for a thumbnail. And then if you want to use that text, you just go to overlays, add your own, my computer, and there's your text. Boom. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please let me know down below in a comment, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.